Hello and welcome to this new DIY engineers video. In this video I'm going to show you a DIY pan tilt camera with computer vision that tracks a green ball. I'll show you how to do the math for the control system and how to program it in Python. Now before we start I recommend you watch my last video on how to use a Raspberry Pi camera. So we'll start by opening the command terminal and we'll start by getting into our virtual environment and go with pip installed opencv python. I have it installed so it goes pretty quick. Then we'll do pip install numpy and pip install imutils. Once you install all those three, we'll clear and then we'll deactivate to exit out of the virtual environment. Then we'll do cd projects if you don't have that directory created and then do mkdir to create a directory. In this case I'll call it ball tracking and then cd to enter that directory. And then we're going to go ahead and type this command to get this uh, set of folders and files from GitHub. Once installed, you can navigate to the folders we had and you can see that we downloaded the files. And those are the ones we're going to be using. So this is the Python code downloaded from GitHub, except I made some modifications. I'm using the Raspberry Pi camera module 2 on a Raspberry Pi 5. And I'm not able to get the image using the standard code, so I made some modifications. I'm importing Pi Camera 2, as you can see here, and you can see that the frame is going to equal to PyCam2 dot capture array, and then at the end I have a PyCam2 stop. So that's the main change. The rest is the same. We'll be testing this one as the first example. The second example, I basically I'm controlling the camera with servos to keep track of the ball and keep it in the center of the screen. So the servos will, will move left, right, up or down to keep the ball in the center. In the previous video, I showed you how to control servos. Uh, I was using the PCA 9685 along with the Adafruit uh, module. So here you see me importing and defining kit as servo kit with channel 16, same as the other video. Here I will define the initial position of the servos before we go into the main while loop. For me, it's 90 degrees and 100 degrees where A0 will be for the servo rotating on the vertical axis, so that's going to be the horizontal movements, and A1 will be for the vertical movements. Now here, if once we calculate the X and Y position of the ball, I have this functions or if statements that basically if the ball is within 270 to 330, or 205 and 245 pixels, meaning vertically or horizontally within the center, the camera will just stay with no movement, will stay in place, but if let's say the ball is over here on the right, the camera will move to the right. If it's on the left, it'll move to the left and so on. Same thing vertically up or down. I'll explain this function, uh, but basically here you have an equation. We'll define an updated angle zero for the horizontal movement and here angle one for the vertical movement where it's just an equation plus the current angle. Same thing for A1. And then we just use if statements to ensure that we don't get out of range. So for the horizontal movement, I cannot go beyond zero or beyond 180. So it has to be between zero and 180. And then and for my vertical camera, vertical movement servo, sorry, I have to be between zero and one and 30. So that's what these if statements ensure. And then we update the angles and the movement will happen. So now I'll go ahead and explain to you how I came up with these equations. And then we'll go ahead and test it. Now before we start, I'm going to check out the raspberrypi.com website and check out all the specs on their camera modules. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi camera module 2. So as you can see here, they have a hardware specification section. You can see here the URL, but I would look at this, I guess, third column. And over here, there's a horizontal field of view and vertical field of view specification. So I'll be using those numbers to use some of my calculations for controlling the servo. So here's the camera. And that camera can see this much. So what we got on the website is that this angle is 62.2. We also know from looking at the output of the image we're getting is this was the screen or the image that the Raspberry Pi camera is getting that in the current resolution that we were processing from that Python code that this distance horizontally is 600 pixels. So now let's go ahead and define a few things. The middle position here is going to be x equals 300 pixels. And over here we're at 600 and this is zero, right? At the same time, the angle here is 90 degrees. We are saying that the field of view, right, is 62.2. That means that here it's 90 plus 62.2 divided by two. And that is 121.1. 1. 
And so over here, we'll do the same thing, and we get a 158.9. Now, I would like an equation of the form the angle equals current x position minus, we'll define this as x0, it's the center, minus x0 divided by some slope, which we'll calculate, plus the current angle. So the current angle is whatever the Python code has as the last angle. X position will be the position of the ball. So if the ball is here, and that's 500, that'll be 500. This one will be here. And so we just need to calculate this. Now, let's just use some numbers. If we're at 600, is this 121.1. And if we're at 90, sorry, if we're at 300, it's 90. So what is 600 minus 300 divided by this difference? M equals 9.6463. So then we're going to say that the angle for the purposes of Python code is going to be equal to x, whatever the ball location is, divided by x0, which was the 300, divided by 9.6463, plus the current angle. Now, what this means is that if I find the ball here, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the position relative to the 300, divide by this number, add the current angle, and rotate that way. What I found out when I did this, it was kind of jerky, so it was rotating too fast. I'll think of this parameter here. Let me change the color. Think of this as the delta angle. So how fast your angle or by how much we're going to change the angle. What I ended up doing is to not make it as aggressive or jerky is dividing by two. So I went ahead and multiply the denominator by two. So net, I ended up with angle that we're going to send to the servo. It's going to be equal to X, whatever the camera reads, minus 300 divided by two times 9.6463 plus the current angle. And then I did the same for the vertical angle with different parameters. So let's call this X horizontal or A horizontal. Actually, I think in the code we called it A0. So this one, A1 was Y minus 225 divided by 292213. Plus, I should call this A current X, and this will be A current Y. All right, so that's the explanation for how I'm controlling the servos. So let's go ahead and test it. So I'm in the virtual environment in the right project folder, and now we're going to go ahead and run the first Python script. And so now I'm going to put the green ball in front of the camera, and you should see how it starts to be able to track it. I'm going to go ahead and press Q and exit out of that script. And now I will run the second Python script that will have camera tracking. All right, this concludes the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.